plastic changed the world. Light, durable, affordable. It made food safer, travel lighter, and life more convenient. We built a world that relied on it. One bag, one bottle, one wrapper at a time. It was a miracle of modern living until it wasn't. Plastic made life easier, so easy, that we started using it for everything. And that's where the problem began. We consumed more and more until it was everywhere. Then we met a company turning this challenge around recycling plastic into construction materials. So we asked them, what if we keep consuming like this? See, in another five years down the line, I will tell you if the way it is going now, Bangalore or any city where you are not able to collect it and reprocess it, then you will have all this waste around your house only. Nobody will come and collect also. That line made us think of our own home. Whoa, creepy. If it is collected also, where they will take and uh, landfill it? Because the population is growing, city is growing, but even the places when they start doing it, even the neighbors will not cooperate. They say, you don't do it behind my house. Next question was, what if we just ban it? Banning is not the solution. See, if you ban, uh, black market will start. Somebody else is coming, putting the waste and going, and you're happily sitting, government will take. Government will take, but who is being spoiled? You are getting spoiled because of you are inhaling everything. But bans alone don't fix habits. Makes sense, right? We should have cameras on the street, right? Giving this all freebies, better if they would have done this with cameras, our city would have been much, much better. Ah, oh, we're not saying anything more, but you got the point, right? That's what Indian population, uh, you can't change with 10, 15 people. We know crores of people to change their attitude. But then comes that typical attitude. All right, nothing will happen. They are thinking that I am leaving today, I will leave, nothing will happen. What will happen, we'll see. Before uh, they pass, their children will pass. Better to force the government to have these type of facility in their city itself. He's right. Instead of looking for landfills or dump yards, the government could set up recycling facilities like this. We have to tell the government you collect only two, day, two days or three days, only dry waste. Only dry waste one day. Then people try to keep the dry waste procured in their house and one day the dry waste can go. Then this mix-up will not be there. One simple idea they shared. Collect dry waste one day, wet waste the next. And they make policies we want people who are experienced in the field, not on the book level. That people should be on the decision making. If you have time, check out their product. They're putting in a lot of effort. They're not just recycling plastic, they're also creating construction pavers that are both durable and sustainable. The main question is, what's the price? It's like 110 rupees if you want a M60 strength material in cement. Whereas in plastic, you get it 85 rupees. And another, how much weight can they withstand? 60 tons it can take, 60 tons. It will not break, it will not break. For any reason, this will not crack edges, edges. It has to go like compressing only. This will not compress. See why cement breaks? Because there is no way of compressing it, so it has to break. This will not break. They are pushing the government, bring this type of thing, whatever cement pavers are there, that can be reduced and the cost also will be reduced. This recycling facility, the bigger facility they should have, then that much of waste we are consuming, it means automatically this price will come down.